Well, good day. Yeah, welcome to uh, Modern Native on, on Off Grid. Um, this is going to be part two on uh, on my uh, everyday carry uh, knife. It's going to be on the maintenance of this beautiful knife. I uh, started on uh, it yesterday and I started making a strop for it. And um, let's get to it. So let's. Check you over there. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll get right back to you. All right, let's get uh, some stropping going here. And I did stropping yesterday, and we'll shouldn't take too long to finish this up. I wanted to uh, just show you what I've been doing it's with this new uh, setup that I'm checking out today, as of late. Uh, got some leather we got some some green compound yeah we've never done this before you know my grandpa always used to use oil and water but oil mostly oil stones sharpen his axes his knives his machete I remember his machete he used it you know for camping for hunting uh, clearing brush and all kinds of stuff you know when you they used to be bush people, live in the, in the forest. But he used to come and work for farmers years ago. And uh, used to camp on the edge of the field in the shade, him and the family. And that's how he used to make his money. And uh, I had a teepee at one time. And uh, it was 16 foot wide. And I wish I'd never sold it. I would be showing that to you guys. But you never know. I might buy another teepee. I might buy a canvas tent, wall tent. That'd be uh, be awesome. Okay, I think that's going to be plenty here. I'll give it a little few more. A few more. One. Yeah, I remember the, back in those old days, log cabins and tents, and hunting, and this to be self-sufficient. Now, what the off grid's all about? Be self-sufficient and make do with what you got, make what you need. So, but it could mean a number of different things. It doesn't mean totally be uh, totally off grid from you know electrical and sewer. And, you know, be connected to the mainstream of society. You know, people did things different back in the days when they didn't have all that. It was called homestead and, and uh, living off the land. And, you know, that's what it was all about back then. Today, it's, it's a choice of what you want. You know, if you want to stay connected to the grid and in and, and whole or in part or, you know, you, you make your own choices as to what, what it is that you want. Not too many natives uh, today, uh, you know, they're all connected to the grid. Life has changed for natives. That's why I call myself a modern native on off-grid. You know, I, I, I remember growing up off-grid. That's how my family used to live. So I still carry that knowledge and I'm going to pass that on to my boys. So let's get some uh, some of this going here. And uh, you know, you carry that knowledge of uh, being self-sufficient, you know, you would be uh, nothing wrong with knowing knowing what to do if power goes off. That's a great skill to have. A lot of people don't have that skill. They should know that skill. Doesn't mean they have to go live in a bush, you know, and and uh, live off, off grid 100% of the time or all year round. You know, that's, it's, uh, it's all a matter of choice of what do you want. You know, you want to, you know, I can understand people getting upset and giving these great big corporations, you know. You work all day to what? To, 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 uh, to give it to them. I can understand that, you know, who wants to do that, right? But, you know, the way the law is set is you got to, you got to do a certain amount. You can't just go build a cabin anymore and put it in a bush, they, they made it uh, illegal to do that so I know you gotta they want to know everything so you're gonna pay taxes on 
whatever you do. You want to live, you got to pay taxes, it seems, which isn't, doesn't seem fair, but, uh, you know, that's how it is. And But we try to give as less as we as, as less as our money away to, to the bigger corporations, right? They're just people like us, but they try to, to, uh, you know, take take our well-being away from us and get us all stressed out and uh, uh, putting our money in their pocket. I don't believe in that. I think we should, you know, have knowledge of what to do and empower ourselves and stuff to, uh, you know, be self-sufficient, not rely on the electrical grid or, or uh, sanitation or, or what have you. So yesterday I noticed that uh, I had broke, or not break, uh, I, I, when I can see that nice, nice, nice edge here, nice and shiny, it's conformed, even. And if you look on this side, you can see it's not so, e it, it's, it's not bad here. It's nice and even too, you get right in there. I went a little wild with my, uh, my new, uh, <laughs> diamond tool here uh, let me pull it out and uh, show you what I mean see I, I was yesterday I was using this round part going this way right and so when I went down here of course it took out a little bit of that and but I should I, I should have been using this this here flat part but now I know you can see where it's flat right and then it's round here and this is round cone for serrated blades for flat blades and serrated blades and they also have a groove in here which is I think is kind of neat if you can look right there there's a groove well that's for sharpening your fish hooks so that's pretty cool I uh, now I, I got something to sharpen most of my things so that's how this is I, I like this tool so let's get on to uh, to uh, I got, we, we cleaned up the metal up and you can see the scratches are still there. And that shows it's the use. And uh, I got this, uh, my, uh, I'll show you my, the, the case, leather case. Let's, let's do some little bit of touch up on this. Doesn't need a whole lot. Uh, We'll just get that right in here, right in the thread, the lacing part of it, and uh, get this well, well oiled. You know, you want to take care of your, your leathers. I used to use uh, a, a product called Dubbin years ago, and I used to take care of my boots. So that was uh, what I used then. I don't know if I, I don't know if they have that anymore. You know, I was quite young then. So let's get that right in the, 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 the lacing, the stitching part. Keep those uh, well well lubricated with, and uh, get that in there, and right in the, right in there, you bet. It doesn't hurt to put a little extra. Let's uh, give that a bit of a bit of a rub that in there a little bit better, soften up those edges. Yeah, it feels pretty good. It smells good too. Yeah. All right. Well, let's. Uh, I think that's enough for that. Let's uh, put the lid back on here. We'll put that away for the next time we need to work on our knives and uh, clean and wipe my hands a little bit and uh, take some of the excess off here. Oh yeah, pretty nice. So we got uh,
hear that? Sounds pretty good, eh? Love it. Yeah, it's nice. Um, it's always nice to take care of your your tools. Yeah, right on. Yeah, so that's uh, from part two of uh, finishing up on uh, the cleanup on maintenance on knives. My knife here, I have other knives. I could probably do one more with you guys, you know, and and uh, it's a little bit different. It has a more of a rubber handle, but uh, still the same method when you take care of your blades. There we go. Take some of the excess off. So that's good for another, another while, hey? Check that out. Right on. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave it at that. And um, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. You bet. All right, we'll catch you on the next one and uh, you take care. And don't forget to be good to each other. And if you like what you see, you know, uh, what the native, uh, modern native is up to. All right, well, you like, subscribe, and tell your friends, hey, there's a, there's a guy, uh, we, he's new, brand new, new tuber, right? All right, well, take care. And uh, don't forget to be uh, good to each other and you have a great day.